Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be seeing how to create a simple file manager using VB.NET. So let's get started. First of all, create a new project. In this Windows Forms, we'll give it a file manager. Okay, let's give it file explorer. Explorer. Okay. Now it's creating the new project. Okay. As usual, now we'll resize the window and now going on to the properties, I'll change the text from form one to file manager. Okay. And over here, I'll, be, I'll require three com components that is, one is a button and the other one is an list view which is for used for listing the files and also I'll need one more thing that is the image list which will be containing the list of images for directories and files and also this is the text box and first of all I'll go to the image list and change it from change the dimensions to 48 comma 48 and the color depth to 32 bit or 24 bit is fine and adding it I have a folder over here and add this to it. Pressing OK, we'll be adding it. Now I'll be just resizing everything. Okay, just giving it a better look. That's all. I'm not basically focusing on any kind of designs in this tutorial. I just wanted to show you how to make a simple file manager. So over here, onto the buttons, properties, it is basically for viewing or, okay, we need to navigate to the directories or the path given within the text box one. So I'll just align it properly, that's it. And now the user will be entering the path over here and it, the contents will be displayed in this list view. And to the list view over here, the small image list I'll attach the list one and large image list attach the image list one and now we'll go to the load event form load event over there I'll type on error resume next to prevent it from crashing if any errors occur the dim path declare path as string this is the path where I need to navigate so path by default let it be d drive okay d drive that's enough and now i can search for each i in my dot computer dot file list file system dot get directories i need to get the list of all directories which are present within this path so pressing enter and i need to add it to the list view list view one dot items dot add there are two parameters one is the i that is the string the i contains the path of the um, complete path including the file name or the directory name okay now the next part is the which image i have to choose from the image list that is image list one dot images dot count minus one and that's it for next loop is for creating a list of files that are present within the directories I my dot files which are present within the given path files dot system dot get files okay the path I need to specify the path and pressing enter list view oh, view one list view one dot items dot add as usual I two parameters one dot images dot count minus two count is a method and also here I need to specify it's a method it's not just a variable okay these are the two things that I need to add just I will run it 
to see whether it's working so this is it but I, I'm getting a problem it is showing the images of the file uh, to the directories and it's the icon got inverted so I need to change the count over here it's one and it's two okay let it be there the other problem that I'm facing is you can see over here it's displaying the entire path okay which I don't I don't want the entire path so okay I e will be string in which it will be having the complete path okay so I don't want that so I can get the substring of these the complete complete path just by using the substring method substring i dot last index of this character that is it will start move searching from the last part of the string and whenever it finds this character it get, it passes its index to the substring method so yeah, substring will be made I will show you now you can see this was the complete name but it's only taking up to this last slash okay so now what I can do is I can add one to it so that that character is also omitted now you can see the you can see that character is not present only the directory name is there now the next part is I'll copy the same to the files so that it will be displaying only the file names you can see it's displaying only the file names and all stuff that's it now the other one is from here I'll go to, go to another event that is associated with the list view that is item selection changed this is an event and also I need to navigate whenever someone double clicks on the item that is mouse double click these are the two events I want so first of all the E returns the item E is the object that is being selected okay and I'll create a variable again EIM declare next path as string okay next path as string and whenever the item changes next path equals path plus this character this character plus e is the item that is being clicked e dot item dot text okay that's it and whenever the mouse double clicks over the or it we need to navigate to that directory okay right so we'll be copying this and over here I'll be pasting it okay and I'll assign it to next path okay before that before navigating into that directory we need to check whether the user clicked on a directory or a file okay so for that I have another function called file sorry if my dot computer dot file system dot directory exist says mm, I just give the next path next path over here and pressing under and if such directory exists then navigate me to that directory or else display a message msg box cannot open a file okay so before running it we need to clear the list view so list view one dot clear okay that's it and now we are ready to run now if I click on a file it would show you 
I can't open a file and if I double click on a directory it will be taking me into that directory okay that's it it's perfect now I need to do one more thing that is I need to display the contents or update the contents to the text view so text box one dot text equals the path okay that's it and now also we need to add one more thing that is the go button path equals text view one dot text text box one dot text okay that's it and now I'll be just copying it instead of next part I will be providing the path over here and I'll be just removing this statement and I'll be just removing this statement because I don't know it need that now I can run it again so here is it you it's your complete file manager that is you can navigate through different directories and if you want to go back to any directory just click over here it will be taking you to that directory e drive okay it can take you to the, this directory and also songs okay it's displaying okay so that's it good so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you